Milwaukee invited us out to Wisconsin to take a look at their brand new job site cleaning expansion. That's all they told us. We got here and now that we've seen the new Vax, this was nothing like what we expected. We're really impressed and we think you're going to be too. For starters, you see that we got three vacs here. It's a six gallon, a nine gallon, a 12 gallon, and clearly these are battery powered. These are M18 fuel brushless products. We've got a one battery and a two battery option. There's also an AC option that we haven't seen yet, but it's gonna be part of line as well. Now, there's a lot of questions that we had and they did a great job of answering them for us. We're gonna share those with you. First of all, one battery versus two battery is 18 versus 36 or just longer run time. The two battery system is operating in series, so it is operating at 36 volts, and there are some performance gains to be had with that. But before we jump into the performance, if you take a look, it kind of looks like everything here fits together. It's because it does. This is a completely modular, interchangeable system. Every head works on every tank. The dolly that these sit on, completely interchangeable. Even the hoses have the same exact connection. So the smaller vacs are going to come with a one and seven eighths inch hose. The larger vac comes with a two and a half inch. If you want to swap them, swap them to your heart's content. It's all good. Now, actually getting these vacs off, you can see they lift up. There's just a little foot pedal here. That's going to release your vac from the dolly. And then you can swap it around or you can use it without wheels whatsoever. Now let's get into some of the nitty gritty starting from the bottom and working our way up. So on this premium cart, you can see you got the, the larger roller wheels here with the telescopic handle and then these smaller caster wheels. The other dollies have four caster wheels on them and they are all locking wheels front and back. So no matter which way you got that cart oriented, you can lock it down the way you like. These roll really nice, but notice too, these wheels, they're treaded and they're a little more rubberized than most. So these can handle the vibrations that you get on the job site a lot better than the hard plastic wheels. They're gonna hold up a lot longer than those. You're not gonna get a lot of the wheels breaking off. They actually have a longer connection in here too. So that, that metal piece that comes up off the top, it's more durable than most wheels on shop vacs are. So what you're gonna get is a smoother rolling wheel style that handles the vibration better and it's gonna hold up longer. So once again, we'll just take this back off and take a quick peek at the dolly system here. You can see how the molding this fits in securely. There's our little snap. And then clearly our accessories are going to go on the back here. And notice the connection here. Like I said, some of these have a two, a two and a half inch hose. Some of them have an inch and seven eighths. So notice that we're going to be able to put no matter what accessory you have, it's going to fit on there. So these are gray. Notice the color coding here. That's your one and seven eighths inch. And the what, two and a half inch accessories, those are color coded red. So it's really easy to see exactly which accessories you have on there. If you don't have the vac on, piece of cake. All right, looking at the vac itself, we've got two modes, off in the middle and then a low and a high. And this is all about helping you prioritize either performance or runtime. Now in low power mode, you're gonna get the longest runtime. For the two battery vacs, that's going to be 49 minutes of runtime. For the one battery vac, that's going to be 47 minutes. If you flip it up into high, you're looking at 34 minutes with the two battery vacs and 31 minutes with the one battery vac. Of course, if you're using the AC, runtime's not an issue. Just plug it in and go. Now, on the actual performance side of this, let's talk CFM and water lift for just a minute. So the one battery vac is going to get 87 CFM with 60 inches of water lift. The 9-gallon vac is going to be 109 CFM with 77 inches of water lift, and the 12-gallon is going to be about 114 CFM and 78 inches of water lift. And even though the 9 and the 12 use the same exact head, and the reason for the difference in the performance is that the 12-gallon vac comes with the 2.5-inch hose, and the 9-gallon vac comes with the 1 and 7 eighths. Pretty standard clips on this side. They are a bit more robust than most shop vacs that we've seen. And this lifts off. It's fine. So one of the things that Milwaukee decided to improve was how the filter comes on and off. You got kind of a, some of the shop vacs that we've used before, they kind of, you got to snap them and then you get some dust that just pops off of there and kind of defeats the purpose of having sucked all of it up in the first place. Here, it's just a little turn, filter comes off, you can clean it or replace it. Just a little turn, not even a quarter of a turn. It's just a real quick, real easy. You can do it with one hand and then you're back in action. So there will be bags available uh, for this, and there's also gonna be multiple filter options for you as well. 
we're hearing about uh, HEPA filters that are coming. And what's interesting about that is even though this isn't table one compliant on its own because it doesn't have an automatic filter cleaning system, for example, they are going through objective data testing that they're going to be able to give you the paperwork for so that you can use these in concrete applications. Now, Milwaukee didn't just deal with the vacuums. They also dealt with some pain points on the hose. And part of it is flexible. I mean, just notice how easily flexible this hose is. It's not nearly as stiff as the ones that come on most shop vacs. It's also more durable. So take this thing and twist it. Normally at this point, you've got a kink and you may have a hole in that you got a duct tape or whatever. You can kink it if you pull hard enough, but it just comes right back out and it's not permanently damaged. We've been stepping on them. We've been messing with them in all kinds of ways, twisting them up. These are a lot more durable than the most of the shop vac hoses that we've used before. Also notice that the head freely rotates. So as you're pulling this back around the job site and turning, doing different things, this is gonna just twist with it. It's not gonna kink up and twist like a lot of other ones do. So we really like that. It's also a threaded connection. So if you do happen to pop it off because you got you know, 100 pounds of debris in there or whatever, just grab a hold of this gray or red ring on the two and a half inch hose, just twist it back. It'll go on there just fine. Last thing I want to point out on the hose is the management of it. It's a big pain point for a lot of shop vacs. So you can wrap this thing either direction. Notice that on the side here we have a C-clip. So your hose will pop in there just fine. And then on the back we have a bungee system. Now this is a little interesting because it is a, it's a flat to flat connection. So right now it doesn't really want to, want to sit in there. But when you've got both sections of the hose here, now there's enough tension. It holds just fine. So this is more of a final transport solution as opposed to uh, just going from one spot to another. But it does hold really well. And of course, looking around the back, hose management is achieved. Accessory management is achieved. And we've got a really nice tight shape that we can put in the van we can put in the back of the trailer, but also notice the top of this is flat, the handle flush is flat with this, so we can store other things on top of it. No, it's not packout compatible. There are packout compatible vacs coming later down the road, but these aren't. And one of the big challenges that Milwaukee had to overcome was getting corded performance out of cordless products. That's nothing new for us in Milwaukee. They've been doing it for a long time. They've been doing it really, really well. For vacuums though, it's a little bit different because this is a high draw and a constant draw for a longer period of time. So when we talk about those CFM and waterlift numbers, where does this match up? And that really lines up with your three and a half to four and a quarter peak horsepower vacuums. But the way that they got that performance while still getting great runtime out of their batteries is to look at the design of the motor and the fan and the shroud in particular and optimize it so it's running much more efficiently. We saw a test running where we got to see the power output and Milwaukee was putting out, with the nine gallon as an example, Milwaukee was putting out 450 watts to get more suction then the corded unit was at 1100 watts. So they're getting more suction, doing it more efficiently, and that's what gives them the ability to get these kind of performance numbers and still give you outstanding cleanup time. For pricing, you're looking at 249 for the six gallon vac as a bare tool. The nine gallon is gonna be 299 bare or 699. That's gonna come with two eight amp hour high output batteries and the dual port rapid charger. And then the 12 gallon is gonna be 799. That's a kit only. That's gonna have two eight amp hour batteries, dual port rapid charger, and it comes with the premium card on that one. As far as availability goes, you're looking at March for the single battery uh, vacuum and most of the accessories. And then we're looking at May for the two battery options and the two and a half inch accessories that come with it. Now, obviously the vacuum itself is really important, but so is what's on the other end of the hose. And Milwaukee decided that they could innovate that as well. And what we have is air tip. We've got 20 accessories to start and there are a ton of trade focused solutions here and some crossover potential into other areas of home improvement. The really cool thing about this is that it doesn't matter what vacuum you got. These fit one and a quarter inch, one and seven eighths inch, two and a half inch hoses, and you don't need any adapters to make them work. They just fit on there based on the design. Instead of taking the next 30 minutes to explain every single one of these to you, we're just gonna let Austin show you what we saw in Milwaukee.
We're really excited about Milwaukee's new vacuums that are coming out, and we'll have some chances to test them hands-on in the shop a little bit later. But for now, this has been a lot of information. If you've got any other questions about these products, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If we don't know the answer, we'll find the answer for you and get back to you. As always, thanks for watching.